So today I thought I would show you uh, some of the items in my kitchen that were thrifted that I use every day. Some very useful things, some pretty things. Here's one thing that I found um, that was really useful. It matches my plates that I got. It's the blue willow pattern, which is everywhere. <laughs> um, but we just were looking for a sugar bowl and this was super cute. I think it was $2.49 at the Goodwill, but it's really nice. We have a little tiny spoon that my daughter had and we used that for our sugar bowl. So some of the tools that I have that I got secondhand are like this dough cutter. What is it called? Dough cutter? Maybe it's a dough cutter. This antique rolling pin that I've had for many years. Got this cute little bunny for a couple dollars. I got these hooks, most of these hooks. These curtains. This was a neat little find, $1.49. It's really old from the Goodwill. I had this bowl, I bought it, and then it got a chip. So instead of throwing it away, I decided to um, put my dishwasher tablets in there because my dishwasher is on the counter. And so getting under the sink was really inconvenient and I thought, why not throw a few of them in there? And then these guys, I wanted some of these forever. They were 50 cents. I used them to decorate at Easter because I don't even really like eggs, especially not the way the British eat them <laughs> in those holders, but they're so cute. I gave away some of these at Easter, just thrifted these little cute little dainty cups and put little plants in them. This one was left over. That cup is actually from Germany. It's really neat. And then I got this little ceramic baby shoe and I just thought it was so cute a long time ago. A lot of this stuff I've had for a while. Um, this pot right here, this black and white pot was thrifted and given to me for my daughter actually. Thrifted, so I mean, you can find tons of stuff for your kitchen and for your dining room and dishes and for eating at the thrift store. Let me show you a few things. So living in a single wide, I don't have very much room for fun, pretty things. But I allow myself just a little bit, and I would love to find more pastel. These old dishes, I love them. I have one jadeite. This is my little piece of jadeite. I would love to find more of that. And so I just have a little stack of pretty things that I allow myself room for. This crock was thrifted, and this old hand mixer. I've had it for a long time. Those things were thrifted. This little picture here. It was a drawing and then I think they painted a little bit on it, but I think it's an original. So that's pretty cool. This old shopping basket from Sprouse Ribs. That's a childhood store of mine. I loved going to that store. This was thrifted. I keep napkins in it. And right here is a picture. It's a picture of Mendocino, which I found at a secondhand store in Fort Bragg. We love going to Fort Bragg and Mendocino, so this was a really cool find. I just use it to decorate my kitchen. In here, I have these little pink cups. Oh, I just love them. I have three. Those were secondhand finds that I just love. I keep my eyes out for those, but I don't find them very often. I have these little glasses here that I really like. Those were secondhand, I think 50 cents each. And I got these old little dessert cups that are pretty neat. Secondhand. So a lot of this, this was my husband's great-grandmother's china, here's my great-grandmother's china, passed down. Um, these glasses I got at a second-hand store, nothing fancy but I didn't have anything to use.
these plates. I know I've shown these before, but I got these from the Goodwill, which I do. We do use these, and they are like new, so we'll be able to get a lot of use out of those. So some of my favorite things that I find at secondhand stores are for the kitchen, are useful items. Um, some are just pretty, but I always keep my eyes out for good, you know, like brand new looking um, cloth napkins and you can find them because a lot of people will buy them just to decorate with and they never use them. So I just don't get napkins that really even been washed. Uh, these are brand new right here. This was half off linens that day. And so these were from World Market, but I got four for 50 cents. So that's 12 and a half cents each. You can't beat that, right? So I like to, to um, get these cloth napkins, not just to decorate with, but also I don't buy napkins. We use cloth napkins. And it's not because we're hoity-toity. It's because we're trying to save money. So let's say if you buy these for 12 and a half cents each, you can reuse them and reuse them and reuse them until they are old and raggedy. And you know, who's gonna care? You maybe wouldn't decorate with them anymore, but you're using them. And yes, these were some of my favorites, but you know, there's only three, but in our house, three people live here. So that's okay, um, really cute. And then I came across the other day, these uh, placemats and I thought, oh, those are cute, right? Two of them only. And then I realized that they actually match the napkins that I had. So that was kind of neat. There was only two of them. But you know, that's what happens secondhand. Three napkins, two placemats. I'm just collecting because you can mix and match stuff too. Um, and I got these little placemats thinking that they were the, they would go with those. The other ones were much bigger, but it's okay. They're white. So I like to collect table linens. Um, some dishes it usually has to be dishes that I need. And when I can't resist a dish, because it does happen, I'll show you what you can do about that. If that, <laughs> if this happens to you, you gotta think outside the box. Let me show you what I did when I went to the ocean and went to the secondhand store and saw these cute little bowls. Let me show you how I used those. Ta-da! See, I just thought this was really a cute little bowl. And, well, this isn't even a bowl. It was 50 cents. These cute little things. I just thought, these are cute. I want to take them home. They're cheap. And so, I just stuck them in my drawer. And use them to put little things in. So, there you go. Another thing that I found at a secondhand store a long time ago was this old enamelware pot, and I just thought it was so cute. Um, but I wouldn't cook with it. And so I just keep it under the sink. And there was a leak there one time. I don't know if it still leaks. I don't think it does, but it's, it's good for things like leaks. It's good for things like keeping bottles of dish soap in but I mean it's beautiful it's pretty right <laughs> it's old I love it I have these little glass pitchers that were thrifted I'll probably use them for water sometimes and in the meantime I'm storing my thrifted help me oh my goodness thrifted napkin rings got a little silver dish under my plant not directly there is a plate there too this right here is one of my favorite things that I found. I got this recently. My daughter bought it for me at a little rummage sale. If you can see it, what was it from? 
oh, I can't remember the name of the company, but they made a lot of salt and pepper shakers. I have some fake salt in here, but you can see these little ridges. This is actually from the 20s, 20s, 30s, somewhere around there. This is Art Deco. So cute, and I just love it on my table. And it goes really nicely with my sugar bowl. And of course, we've got some a thrifted vase. We have some uh, milk glass. You can always find milk glass. So finding things secondhand for your, your kitchen is just, it's a treasure hunt. It's a lot of fun. It's cheap. You can have nice things on a little tiny budget. You can find things in pretty colors. You can change things up. Oh yes, and even my table right here. $29. No, the table was $14.99. And this is an old table and I love it. It fits the space so perfectly. We had an antique big table in here that went with these chairs, but um, it, we're storing it now because this, is, this just fits the space so much better. And it's not quite as precious as the heirloom. <laughs> which you have to just be so careful because it was it's kind of a fragile table but um i want to show you the the wood it's so pretty if you can see how that looks i don't know if this is showing up good but it's just such a pretty wood grain and excuse the mess ah! and i've got this little secretary desk um from a secondhand store for ten dollars so definitely thrifting is just so much fun. You're getting something that's old, you're using it again. Um, I just love it. So thanks for watching. My mind goes blank. Okay. Good. Napkin holder. Nap Thrifted yes. napkin. This right here. Oop. Oh. To furnish and 